Sophia here for my great challenge. Welcome back to my channel and yes I am in my happy place. You can see from the background that I'm actually pretty empty isn't it? That I am in my sewing corner down in the basement. Why am I here and not outside doing concrete work and painting the side of the house? Well Today is Wednesday, I'm actually re-recording the intro to this video and then I'll do the outro and some more work on it. Uh, it rained Sunday and we didn't anticipate rain and it rained quite a lot and it rained Monday and it rained Tuesday and it rained today as well so I got stuck inside and you know me, I got a bug, I gotta do something, I can't just sit and do nothing. So I've decided to redesign this space and by redesigning I mean really really redesigning the space and it pretty much started with the light uh, that you remember I installed with Scott. The reason why I want to do this is while this is my happy place I want it to be happier, I want it to be cheerier, I want it to be uh, well organized, well lit, comfortable. This is the space where I am at my best I would think. I do a lot of things around the house. You know I have collections, I have a lot of stuff around, but this is really the space where I can get to have my me time and escape the craziness of my job, the craziness of what's going on right now in the world, the craziness in the house. I only sew maybe twice a week at best. Definitely once a week on Thursday is my sewing day. This is kind of like on the calendar, everybody knows for two, three hours, leave mom alone. <laughs> She's sewing on Thursday night. Uh, and that's usually when I film my Friday video. Um, but I really got involved into sewing. I didn't think that making garments was gonna be something that I was gonna be good at and really something I was gonna do a lot of, but yeah, I caught on. Um, I'm still going to quilt, but I really want to push myself with the sewing of garments. And I need the space to be really comfortable and not just comfortable to sit in but I want it to be pleasing to the eyes when I put it together the last time I just needed a space that was it I needed a space so I put things together and that was it but now I got time plus it's raining I got nothing else to do I'm starting to really think about what it is that I want with this space so I already filmed some of it and you'll see the before uh, coming up soon right after my chit chat um, I've started painting some stuff, you'll see that too, and I'm at the point now where I'm ready to bring the fabric, well, sort out the fabric and put it back where it belongs. I'm going to give you um, an idea of what I really envision here once I've shown you the rest of the video which I filmed on Sunday. I've been working on this, by the way, since Sunday. Every night I was doing something in here. Um, so without further ado, I'm going to show you what I filmed the other day, which is kind of like not really good <laughs> because I wasn't rushing or anything, but I just, it, it was, I don't know. I just didn't think it was really good content, but I finished what I was supposed to do. So now I can get back to doing um, this area. So I'm really, really excited about this project. It's not going to be a lot of videos. I'm at the point now where I just need to reorganize and decorate basically. Um, I did purchase two things, um, very inexpensive, and I'll talk about it in a minute um, when I'm done showing you what I've done so far. So without further ado, let's get back to Sunday and then you'll get to see what I'm talking about with this space. So I got the idea of making changes here when I installed this light here, um, which is very nice. But uh, yeah, this is my space and it goes here and there, <laughs> it's bad. And I have a window over there with stuff because I don't have anywhere else to put it. I really want to get rid of this. If you notice, I got rid of the uh, door, uh, but I've, I'm going to let it go. And then I have this here uh, with quilts that I've made, the shirt that I've made, I'm still working on. This thing, I brought it in, it's useless. It ends up being a, uh, um, a cart for various refuse. Uh, so I really, really get to do something. What would I like, ideally? I'd like some shelves on the wall to put magazines and books. 
I would like to have some decorative items like frames, whatnot, on the wall. This can go down, it doesn't have to be there. I'd like to have nothing on the windows, wishful thinking. I'd like to have this emptied out and painted out in white um, so it looks better. I'd like to have this permanently posted somewhere where I can use it. Uh, I'd like to have more space on here. Ideally, the machine should be on the low end of the table, not the length, because it takes too much room. I constantly have to move it. This, I'd like to have it painted white, all the fabric nicely sorted. Um, yeah, so I don't really need to have access to this door. It's nice to have a second access, but I'm not going to block it. Um, I, I'm just saying I don't really need to have like immediate access to it. So I don't even know where to start other than... Um, moving furniture where it needs to be. So I gotta empty this first. Then I have to empty this one. I'm really thinking about putting this cabinet. Try to not move too fast so I don't make you dizzy. Uh, here. Why? Because it's tall, it fits in that corner and then it would kind of like empty out or you know ease out the space here. So let me start by emptying out the cabinets um, and swapping them. I gotta figure out what I'm gonna do with this. I should really have one that goes on the wall. That would be nice, right? I don't even know if they still make them. Okay. What's this? This was sent to me uh, by Lynn. It's a whole quilt kit. And I can't wait to make it. Um, it's basically this quilt here. Do you see it? And each one is a different block. Um, it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight blocks on point, which is uh, in diagonal. And um, it's got all the fabric in it. Now, here's the thing. I shouldn't disassemble this, right? It came in that way, everything is in there. Whoop, let me hide the addresses. Um, so this obviously is gonna have to stay in the box. I just gonna have to put it somewhere else. This here is that quilt I started for Willie and then I run out of fabric. Let me keep it in that. I think I should just finish it as a lap quilt. Isn't it nice? Or maybe put it as a wall hanging. Um, but anyway, everything that I need for this particular quilt is in this box. So obviously that stays in there as well. You know what I'm talking about, right? The stuff just, it keeps growing. Um, you're getting more and more fabric for projects and then you have nowhere to put it. So stuff starts spilling all over the place. And you don't have room for anything else. This would look so much better in white. Um, and then you have your good fabric you don't want to use because it's such good fabric. You know, like I give you an example, this one that Debbie sent me. This is a William Morris fabric. It's gorgeous. Um, I, I don't want to use it. Because I may never find it again. <laughs> I don't know. It's silly, right? Why not use the stuff you have? I mean, look at this. It's just like, uh, again, another clown car experience here. All of this has got to get sorted out. All of it. In particular, this. Okay, this is all. If you, you know my house. You've been here a gazillion times. Okay. This whole stack here, this is all. Um, samples of home decorating fabric. Some of it is outdoor, some of it it's canvas. It's I just don't know what to do with it. It's nice. There's a lot of things I can do with it, but I right, hear my patterns. The patterns shouldn't be in this. It should be somewhere else. What do I have? I have um, Barbie patterns. Yeah, ba Barbie patterns. Okay, aprons, quilt that I've already made. 
Um, this one that I want to make really, really badly, I want to make this. Uh, this jacket from the 50s that I really, really want to make. And then I have dresses, pants, another dress. Ah, so much to sew, so little times. So, oh, I need some of those. Okay. I have the bottom here. We got the old curtains from Willie's room. I don't know what to do with them. We have Dupioni silk. We have this. It's glorious fabric. We have this and that. Oh, these are things I found. Can you see? I gotta uh, fix them. The porcelain. Um, princesses from Disney. And I wanted to sell them. But I wanted to fix them a little bit, you know, like fix the hair. So... And you know, that's one of the problems when you get involved into um, sewing or quilting or any kind of craft. You always find stuff, right? Um, I found this for a buck. It's gorgeous twill. Absolutely stunning. Um, there's a lot of things I could do with that. And that's the problem. You see it and you say, oh, there's a lot of stuff I could do with that. A dollar for all of this. Are you kidding? That's gorgeous twill. What am I going to do with it? I don't know. I'm keeping it. And most everything in here is one of those impulses like, ooh, this is great. I could do a lot of stuff with that. And then you end up not doing anything 10 years later, right? Okay. Well, that's the best I can do. Uh, my issue here is that the floor is uneven. So whatever I put over there is either tilting forward or tilting sideways. And I got to put a good half an inch worth of... Um, shins it's ridiculous it's an accident waiting to happen so i put this one here this one next to it and this one still has to be shinned a little bit more and then i have an old um bathroom cabinet that can be used as a tabletop um and that's gonna go here for threads and uh other things so that i can get rid of that mirrored cabinet and then the rest of the notions will go in those drawers. Um, yeah, I'm blocking the door. Again, I have access to the boiler through the other door. So this is not like must-have door. Uh, the um, uh, stop for the uh, uh, furnace is actually over the staircase right here. So if anything happened, I can stop this furnace from here. I don't even have to go in the room. And then I can get in the room. Uh, there's plenty of access. When the guy needs to do anything that has to do with water, the main water line is on the other side, so he uses it through that door anyway. Um, and then, worst comes to worst, I can always move this uh, in non-emergency, like if the guy's coming in and he says, nah, I gotta have this door open. All right, I'll move the thing. Um, not a big deal. I can put it on furniture sliders. You see what I mean? Okay. So, yeah, it's not super nice to have the door behind it. I could probably put something behind it. But anyway, I got to start painting those things because I have all this fabric that needs to go back in it. I'm going to paint it um, in white so that way everything is uniform. And that leaves me this entire space here uh, for my table and the ironing board and the mannequin. And I'm thinking about putting the mannequin in the corner over here, which you can see. Um... I don't have a big space, you know. I gotta work with what I have. And um, this is my happy place. <laughs> I want it to be just right. Uh, I'm probably gonna have to bring another floor lamp. I do have a floor lamp with crystal goody stuff around it uh, in the garage. That will be the final touch. I have to figure out where I'm gonna put it. 
but right now when you come in from the basement stairs there's no furniture um, so it's starting to look pretty good all right so let me take my paint out and we'll start painting this thing So you get the idea, right? Um, I'm starting by painting the entire interior and then I'll do the outside. Uh, I'll probably do two coats on the inside before I start doing one coat on the outside because otherwise it's guaranteed I'm going to get paint all over. Um, just in case you're wondering, these are t-shirts that I bought when I went to France last year and I was literally two size, two bigger than what I am now and I bought them as one size bigger than what I was then. So they're three size too big. <laughs> This is like a 1X, I think. So I'm using them. You've seen them a lot in videos lately. I'm using them for paint work and stuff like that because I am going to work with these baggy um, shirts. Anyway, all right, let me do this. When I'm be back, um, I'll probably have um, this whole thing done with one coat or at least inside with two coats and then I'll start painting outside. Then I have to do the other cabinet. Obviously, I'm not finished today. But I have to be finished by Thursday because <laughs> this is my, uh, uh, it's my sewing day on Thursday or maybe I'll just, I don't know. As long as I can put the fabric back in here by the end of today or by tomorrow, I'll be okay. Then I can finish this um, the next time it rains. I'm not in a hurry, but I do want to have it done. Uh, this is the project from hell. <laughs> this is really like the project from hell. I don't know what I was thinking. Anyway, um, I'm on two coats and it looks like it's going to need three if not four. This one is not too bad. That one, the Ikea one, is awful to try to paint. And I mean this is two coats and you can see the black still underneath. And I started with a primer that was a color block. so. Anyway, uh, this one has two coats, so it's almost done. The inside actually I have three coats, um, so you can see this is a little bit better in there. I really just want them to look clean and uniform with the rest of the basement, um, but it's taking me way too long, way too long to get this done. So I'm back to Wednesday and this is done. Let me show you what I did. It was not that easy. So I painted both cabinets. Um, this one was all right. It took four coats. This IKEA one that used to be black took five coats and it's still not uh, perfectly covered. I'm going to stop. But what I did, because I couldn't do the back, and it was kind of falling apart anyway, I picked um, the last piece of um, wainscoting that I use in the basement, if you remember when I redid the staircase, and I put it in the back, and it's making it more solid, and it's giving me a white background. So it was kind of like a last minute decision, and it's somewhat working, but everything is done. 
and this is going to be where I store everything so I have to put the um, handles back on and then I have all of my fabric here I need to sort and put back inside the cupboards and the cabinets this one here is only going to be for threads all my scissors are gonna go in there I'm making sure that I have a place for things I had this jewelry cabinet before and it just was not working everything was kind of like uh, dumped in there I'm trying to have a designated space for everything so when I need something I know where to find it so I'm done and I have all my handles back on and I've decided that I was going to use this one cabinet here for my um, fat quarters and I'm going to do them in order of color which is what I had before um, because I can double row here something I couldn't do with the other one and while I'm doing this um, I'm figuring out which ones I want to keep and which ones I don't want to keep. So I have this done and these are all fat quarters um, which I've try to put together by color and then at the bottom here I have uh, sets you know little bundles that are all matching colors some of them I purchased some of them were sent to me um, this actually goes with this one here and then I have uh, squares that are already cut but basically blues purples and pinks uh, blacks all browns these are all the green all the reds, the oranges, everything yellow and everything beige and white. So this is pretty much done and I have room to grow which is good. In the other cabinet for some reason I had no room to grow. Hold on. So this is what this cabinet looks like. Much better. So I'm aware it doesn't look like much right now. Uh, but this is what I got. And... I'm pretty happy with the way it looks so I'm gonna give you a quick tour of what I've done so far and I'm gonna to explain to you what I plan on doing uh, moving forward because there's still lots and lots and lots of work to do so on top of that cabinet I have those two boxes again one is a quilt I haven't finished and one is the quilt um, kit that was sent to me and in here I have everything that is under two yards so it's mostly fat quarters and a yard and a half yard and a quarter yard and three quarter of fabric so that stays here I have room to grow well if you don't sew you probably think I have enough fabric those of you who sew you know <laughs> there's never enough uh, in this bottom part here, I have everything that is, yes, there's a paint drip right here. That can be scraped off, not a big deal. Um, this is all interior fabric. Um, so it's the peony silk, uh, it's toile, it's everything that you would do for your pastry. I have a bunch of um, Irish linen here. I kept only two of the six um, green dupioni. Well, I think it's fake dupioni, to be honest. The red one is real, but that one I think is fake. Because just based on where I bought them <laughs> and the price I paid for them. But anyway, they were in uh, the guest bedroom. Um, I took them down when Willie took over. I'm keeping them because I can make cushions. Yes, wishful thinking for the living room. Because um, that's the same color. Okay, in this cabinet here, I have everything that's over two yards either exactly two yards or over two yards and it's all uh, nicely folded these are the very large one uh, the ones that are three four five sometimes way more um, yardage um, these are two above two and then these are above two again and then these are uh, just two uh, and then a lot of remnants uh, from previous projects 
in this little cabinet here I'm keeping the notions um, I have not emptied the other one yet so what do I have I have some threads with the bobbin I have uh, a few items that are a quick grab um, you know thimble the um, screwdriver thing for the machine and then in this box which I found on the streets it's from the American Museum of Folk Art um, I'm keeping all the feet and accessories for the machine I'm using one of my first quilting projects uh, if you guys remember when I did a video on that now that I look at it it's horrendous but anyway <laughs> It's all right. It's uh, it's cool. I think it's a Dutch pinwheel. I'm not sure. Anyway, uh, on top here I have all the scissors and the pens. In the back here I keep all of the measuring tools. Uh, the mannequin is here. And then I'm keeping the two mats uh, over there for now. But ideally what's going to happen is that there are going to be, um, there's going to be a big rail here and they're actually going to be hooked up. You know what, let me turn around. So, I thought I was going to be able to leave the table floating. This is the most I can move it away from the wall without doing an obstruction on the passageway to the basement. That's all right. I was talking about the mats. The mats, I plan on putting a big shelf from here to there. So there's going to be a tall shelf here for various items, mostly books, uh, magazines, things like this. Underneath the shelf, I'm going to have a bar, a track. I actually found one on the street, but I think it's too big. It's like one of those big upholstery uh, drapery bars. I have it complete with the rings and everything. It's like very expensive stuff. It's not the right color, but I could put it underneath it and I would use it for several purposes. One of them would be to put my quilts over it for display along the wall that would be very nice instead of having them folded uh, and then quilting projects things I'm working on right now but what I also want to do is have um, you know those clips use them for those two mats because the mats I don't use them when I'm doing regular sewing I'm only using them when I'm quilting so I don't need them on the table at all time but I could have the mats actually suspended um, you know, hanging from that track that would allow me to store them without having them get distorted, right? And then I can put quilts over them so you don't really see them, okay? Because th there's thinking involved here. All right. I said about two things. Yes, I did. Very inexpensive, okay? I'm trying to do as budget as possible here. One thing that I bought is a uh, tack paper that is uh, wood, white wood. So it's going to look like this basically and that's going to go on top of the table. And the reason why I'm doing this is because I really need a contrast when I'm doing anything. Uh, whether I'm, I'm sewing, I'm quilting or I'm trying to put my, um, you know, thread my needle, I need a contrast. The yellow wood from that table is not helping me at all. And I think that's the reason why when you go to the sewing store, most of the tables are white. Okay, so I'm going to cover the table. That's going to happen in the next video. So the table will be white. Then I was thinking about this thing here. First of all, it's all embusted, all right? Uh, I'm gonna see if I can find on Amazon uh, replacement feet for this because I only have feet on one side and not on the other. So as a result, whenever I iron, this thing is, you know, wobbly. But I did buy, and I think I paid under 20 bucks for it, a special shelf that you put on the wall. And it allows you to put your iron in it with, you know, um, the Niagara spray, starch spray, whatever. So you can put your iron in it on the shelf and then underneath it there's a special hook that allows you to just hook that on. So that would allow me to keep this against the wall and not have to deal with this kind of nonsense where it feels to me as it is perpetually falling off wherever position I put it. So that's going to be um, the next project too. That stuff's coming in tomorrow, so obviously I'm not going to see it tonight. All right, nothing on the windows. I keep on saying that. It's always garbage there. You guys see that. You know I'm full of it. But anyway, <laughs> I want a shelf here with the stuff hanging and a few decorative items. Um, the clock's got to move somewhere else. Um, what else? 
I think that's about it. So all I have to do now is cover the table, install the shelf, put a couple of decorative items, install this thing. It's probably going to go on the other side here. And that will be it. And decorative items, you know, bring things up with colors and brights, you know, make it look nice. Um, and that's about it. Anyway, that's the ID. Bright, uh, open, nicely organized, um, minimizing the crap all over the place, white table, shelving, everything where it belongs. Uh, no box and pieces of furniture that don't match like I used to. I'm trying to, you know, make more of a uniform look and something that, because this is really my happy place, something that really makes me feel good being here. Now, I'm going to sit over there, so this is what I'll see when I'm sewing. Um, and I need the table away from the wall so that I can slide fabric off of it, all right? Uh, what else? Oh, the table. I told you earlier in this video that the floor is really crooked. We're talking really crooked. I have to buy, yeah, I have to buy the little, um, they're not acrylic, I'm not sure what they're made of, but anyway, the little feet that you add on underneath tables uh, to raise them a little bit. This thing I checked with my uh, level, it needs to be raised by about a half an inch. That's how uneven the floor is. It's crazy, right? Um, and it's uneven this way too, so I have shims around everything, but if I do this, I'm pretty much level. It does, it looks crooked, but it is level, so uh, I don't know, uh, maybe because I put shims. Anyway, so this is it. So the next time I'll see you, I don't know when I'm going to work here again on putting this space together. Uh, tomorrow I'm coming here, I'm going to sew um, for Friday's video. So the next time you'll see me, a couple of weeks maybe, I don't, I don't think I'm going to start doing all this stuff uh, now. Um, this was the most important. Um, I'll do the decoration, I'll put the shelf up and all this stuff, okay? So I will see you later. I'm sorry this was not a great video. It's very difficult to work in this space because there's really not much uh, to move around but that's my happy place and I'm making it happy. Oh and the lamp I forgot yes there's a lamp I'm gonna bring in that has crystal dangles um trying to make it girly you know as though the rest of the house is not but anyway you know what I mean I'll talk to you later guys thanks for watching bye hey it's me and guess what click that thumbs up if you really like this video thumbs down twice if you didn't you can also share my video if you really, really liked it or save it to watch later. Also, you can subscribe to my channel, but don't forget to click that bell button so you are always notified when I post a new video. Thank you for watching.